you don't know, you damn well should know. My name is Rag Reynolds, and today I just wanted to tell a little story. And the story I want to tell today dates back to when I was eight or nine years old. So I was a young boy, I was a young Rag Reynolds. And I headed off to the beach. I used to love the beach, now I hate the beach. I, I despise the beach. I have disdain for the beaches. Oh, it's the worst place in the world. N nowhere is worse than the beach. Sand is horrible. Anyway, I went to the beach with my grandparents, my grandmother, and my step granddad, Jim. Jim is this man. So, we were at this beach. We're having a lot of fun for a couple of hours and uh, somehow having fun, despite there being sand. We're having fun, we're doing whatever we're doing, and it's time to get ready to head home sort of thing. And we're going over to the toilet, there's like a shack on the beach you can go over to and go to the toilet. So we're heading over that direction. And on the way there, there's like this little walkway over a little stream, it looked like. And I thought it looked like a puddle. Uh, and I saw it. And Jim looked at me and he's like, Ryan, whatever you do, don't jump in that. But being a nine-year-old, what do you do? You jump in that. So I jumped in it. And I sank. I started sinking, and sinking, and sinking, up to my thighs, I was sinking into this thing. And I'm like, oh shit! But in much nicer terms, since I would never swear at that age, I was a, I was a great child, I was, I was an angel, I, as I am now. So, Jim grabs a hold of me, I'm sinking in this, what appears to be quicksand. Jim grabs a hold of me, Pulls me out, is like Superman. Out I come. I leave a shoe behind, but I'm out. I smell quite bad. I'm covered in this quicksand. So we take me over to the bathroom. There's a hose outside. So they hose, he hoses me down. Uh, we throw away my other shoe since it's pretty much useless, since we only have one now. Hose me down. Uh, I'm, I'm told repeatedly, you're not getting in the car like that. I did eventually get in the car, but I was hosed down and I'm pretty sure I probably didn't have trousers on or something because it was disgusting. Uh, anyway, I went home and for years and years I told the story about how I was saved from quicksand by my hero Jim and I owed him my life. That was until a couple of years ago. So I was nine years old. Uh, when I'm 16, 17 years old, so uh, seven, eight years later, I am um, uh, talking about the story in a restaurant with my grandparents. I'm like, oh, remember that time and Jim saved me from the quicksand. And do you know what they said to me? They said, Ryan, sorry to burst your bubble, but we were lying to you. It wasn't quicksand, it was a fucking sewage line. A sewage line. I jumped into shit. And for eight fucking years, they led me to believe that it was quicksand. <sighs> and uh, that's that. If you enjoyed this video, then check out some of the other videos on screen now. You're welcome, society. <laughs>